Hello, and this is Nick again, and uh, we'll be talking about, we'll, we'll continue on this video uh, series in, in physical science, and this time we're going to talk about certain and, and uncertain digits. Um, uh, in the previous video, we spoke about measurements, and we looked at some of the, um, the instruments that are used used in measurement in, in, in the physical sciences. Uh, so we're going to talk about digits, um, certain digits and non-certain digits. Uh, in terms of the certain digits, we're talking about um, the number of digit, digits with which uh, uh, everyone can agree. You know, everyone can agree that look, um, we are not exactly certain of the of of, of of the measurement, but we can all agree that the measurement does go up to this particular point, which is a number. Beyond that, we're just estimating or guesstimating, but we can all agree. All right, the first thing that has to happen is that we have to measure something. You know, there has to be a, me a measurement of something. So let's look at that. Uh, look at the ruler below, and we're looking at the rectangle, the shaded rectangle that is on top of the ruler. Okay, um, so we look at it, and what what is it? Is it 4.5, 4.6, 4.65, 4.7, or 4.75? Um, We can use this first illustration to understand um, the concept, the first concept, the concept of certain digits. Uh, remember that these digits uh, are those that everyone can immediately look at and, and agree that, hey, you know, we can all agree to this particular number or this part of the number that should be a part of the correct answer. In this example, we can see that 4 is that number. Everybody can agree that the number has to be 4. So the number of certain digits in this example would be 1. And that one number is 4. Now notice that if somebody had placed, um, let's say, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, or 4.4, um, it would still have the correct number of certain digit, which is 1. And that one is 4. But those answers would be a little further away from from what would eventually be the agreed correct answer. Now let's look at this bed, and um, of course this is not to scale. This is just to, to give us an illustration. Um, so how wide is the bed? Is it 2.60? Is it 2.61? Is it 2.62? Or is it 2.63? All right. Okay. Now that you have taken a look, a closer look at it, let's 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 keep on. Now, irrespective of what the exact answer might be, and you know we can agree it, we can agree on that later. We can agree that the number of certain digits is two. Right, and those digits are two and six, two point six. All the answers must have a 2.6 because it is very obvious that the bed is not less than 2.6. Not less than 2.6. Now, as to whether it is 2.6 exactly or more than 2.6, then we can debate. That we can debate. But we are not going to debate whether or not it's 2.6. Right? Because those are the certain digits. Now, having seen the certain number, having seen the certain number, a certain number of digits, the uncertain number of digits is, is also easy to determine. It is actually the number that comes after the certain number. Okay, so that's the number that everybody might not agree on. You know, might not might not agree on because of the perspective, for whatever reason. You know, you, you probably need glasses or. The glasses that you're wearing might not be adequate, or you might be at a different angle, the angle that you're not supposed to be, or maybe the angle that you should be. Um, here's another example of um, a picture of, of a map. This happens to be Bermuda. All right. Um, 
and you look at it and determine you know how what's the length or the length of that map okay so when you look closely you look know, closely it could be it could be 10.8 or 10.9 all right now the certain digits would be 2 because I think everybody would agree that it is 10 it is 10 and something it's certainly not 9 it is 10 and something um, so is it 10.8 or 10.9 that's the uncertainty the uncertain digits would be 1 so you have 8 or 9 Some somebody might say it's 10.8 so that the uncertain digit would be 8. Somebody say 10.9 and the uncertain digit would then be 9. Alright, to introduce the concept of um, significant places or significant digits. The first definition we have for it is that the significant place or the significant digits uh, would be the certain digits plus the uncertain digits. So you have the certain digit or digits plus the uncertain digit, the uncertain digit, and that will give us a significant number. Okay. So the next video, uh, which might be divided into two videos, would be about significant figures. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Again, this is Nick.